If you've ever wondered what a dietitian business coach does for a day in the life, I want to break that down for you in today's video. I want to give you a sneak peek of my life during pregnancy. Now I'm in my third trimester, so I am due in just a couple months at the time I'm recording this video and I have batch recorded. So I should be scheduling these videos out to be published after my son is born. A typical week can depend if I'm pregnant or if I've just delivered or what I have going on in my life. But I want to share what's going on with me right now. I am a full-time business coach and I own and operate Dietitian Boss with staff around the world, which is super exciting. We have a membership. We also offer mastermind and coaching programs for our clients. Now, when I work, we are a four day work week which we've established back in 2023. And what that means is that we don't work on Fridays. We have a flexible schedule. So that allows us Monday through Thursday to provide service to our clients and work on the business, but then have Friday for flexibility, which really supports our value of balance. So the question is, what does my typical day look like Monday through Thursday? I will share that, but I want to explain that during pregnancy, I have gotten a bit of a later start than normal. So before pregnancy, I'm a, a morning person. I love waking up early and starting the day, but I've noticed, especially as I progress in my third trimester, I get a little bit sleepy and sluggish and my day just naturally starts a little bit later. So accommodating to the natural rhythm of my body, I have allowed my work day to shift and start and end a little bit later. I also get a little more tired. So I'm, I realize that I, it's better for me to spread out the tasks a little bit more throughout the week and even work less if I feel that I need to do that. So there's a lot of flexibility in my week. And I also, because I plan so much ahead, I have the ability to be flexible with my workload and delegate to my team. If you're interested in a video about delegation, comment below and I'll consider making one. So time management tactics are what really helped me be a productive registered dietitian and business owner. Well, I do 90 minute intervals. So that means for 90 minutes I'm recording or getting the YouTube prepped and ready to go or another content block might be that I'm working on podcasting and some Instagram posts for the business. Now, whatever I'm doing in a 90 minute block is usually very focused work. So that could mean I'm taking a client call and working on other client work, or it could mean for 90 minutes I'm working on some other business development work. But I like to batch my blocks of the day into 90 minute increments and then give breaks between, which allows me to focus. I like to theme my days. This isn't always workout has planned, so there's flexibility but Mondays are typically a day for management and administration. So that might mean following up on things, going over finance, talking to team members. Tuesdays are client and content days. So that means that I have a more open schedule when it comes to clients and sales. And then I also am able to do some content. Now, if I'm batch, batch producing content, I might actually do content on a different day of the week because that's a little too much if I'm creating a, a lot of content on a day where I'm also seeing clients depending on how much sales I have in that day. So this does vary depending on how much I'm preparing ahead, but this is a typical way that I theme my days. Wednesdays, I like to have a no call day. I usually go to the spa, not during pregnancy because that's contraindicated, but I do have more of a relaxed day on Wednesdays because my Mondays and Tuesdays are so productive. And then Thursdays are usually focused on business development, really working on the business and any tasks or activities that support us moving forward, such as developing lectures, program materials, improving the program and um, looking at metrics and analytics in the business. I do work with my energy. So that means if I'm having a day and especially in pregnancy and I'm feeling a little bit tired or sluggish, I really acknowledge that and I'm able to slow down or speed up depending on my willingness. So if I'm just not feeling it, if I'm not having a day where I'm feeling great, then I don't force myself to do the tasks that I've outlined because I have flexibility. Now that doesn't go for a scheduled call that will go more for a block of time that I've outlined to work on business development. So that's why I'm careful about not overdoing it with calls because I don't want to get too exhausted. So that's something I want you to think about and reflect. What is your maximum call capacity per day and how are you honoring that in your business? Comment below if you have a known maximum amount of calls that you can take in one day. I also want to point out seasons of life. Now, for example, this video is focusing on pregnancy, but you might find that in the fall or the spring or the summer, you like to work more or less. We've got clients that like to have a lighter schedule in the summer. They might add more 
of a workload to certain seasons, depending on their travel schedule and their launch schedule for what they're actually promoting in their dietitian private practice. So I want you to think about the flow of your business and what feels good to you, and that can help you structure your day. If you're interested in getting support with structuring your day, I invite you to join the Dietitian Boss Library. It's a monthly membership that supports you in growing your business with access to templates, content curriculum, guest speakers, me and my team, and of course, community of fellow registered dietitians. I also want you to learn more about time management and how I have managed to run the business when I'm not pregnant in this video. We'll see you next time.